So we'll move on to the next uh, concept. All right, this is chordosynthesis. All right, so chordosynthesis is just simple. We are trying to tap blood from the umbilical cord to sample it to test it in the lab. Now, why you are actually trying to tap blood from the umbilical could be well due to a lot of reasons. Understand? A lot of reasons. Okay. So for it's also known as what percutaneous umbilical blood sampling percutaneous umbilical blood sampling so for this one which is also known as what percutaneous umbilical blood sampling it's an advanced prenatal when you say prenatal you want to do this test you want to test for some things is it blood is it resus factor is it blood group typing a lot of things i said so you want to do it prenatally that's before the baby was giving birth do you understand so it involves obtaining a sample of what fetal blood directly from the umbilical cord just to access for the help of the fetus all right so purpose is diagnosis so you want to dictate uh, fetal conditions like what anemia chromosomal abnormalities infections blood disorders do you understand several reasons why you might want to actually type that blood so treatment is allows for it right okay like you can also be doing it for what treatment so sometimes there's shortage of blood and you want to actually transfuse blood to the baby not only shortage it could be that what restless factors are not compatible so you want to now trans um transfuse the baby with like blood that has a restless factor that is compatible with that of the mother to avoid complications so intrauterine blood transfusions then sometimes you might want to give medications to the baby so several reasons why you might want to do chordosynthesis so procedure is you prepare so it's performed on that ultrasound you see as you are trying to insert this injection and tap ultrasound is here so that i've seen it on the screen so that i don't make mistakes right so uh, it's performed on that ultrasound guidance to locate the umbilical cord so the mother may receive antibiotics because you want to prevent infections that may come up now if fine needle is inserted through the mother's abdomen into the umbilical vein okay so fetal blood will now be drawn sent to the lab for analysis post procedure is that both mother and fetus are monitored for complications so risks is sometimes it might cause miscarriage sometimes infection because what in the umbilical cause there's also transport of what waste products you understand so infections or bleeding at the puncture side preterm labor some cases so application is a uh, diagnostic genetic conditions when other tests like amniocentesis have not given you the right result so you want to now tap amniocentesis is what you are trying to examine the amniotic fluid so if the examination of amniotic fluid does not give you right results you might now opt in for examining the blood okay and they are tapping it from the vein why because the umbilical vein transports what oxygenated blood not deoxygenated blood all right then sometimes you want to what monitor and treat fatal anemia through intrauterine transfusions okay so that's it for chordosynthesis also known as percutaneous, don't like our blood sampling.